Hi, I'm visiting today in Greifswald and I'm here to have a look at our new Moody DS41. 41, of course, because it's 41 feet long and DS stands for deck saloon. You can already see it behind me. They just put the saloon on top of the deck so we will have a look around. Come and join me. I'm sitting outside on the sun lounge, on the sun beds, on our foredeck of the Moody 41 DS. Um, of course, now we're in the marina, but if we were out on sea sailing, I would have the immense sail above me. That's 83 square meters of sails just above me, so a really nice sailing feeling. And of course, there's a lot of space, not only for myself, but I could invite my entire family to join me up here on the sun deck. I'm still on the foredeck, just in front of our sun lounge. I'm just below the really long mast. It's almost 20 meters high. Um, and I must say with this weather, this might just be my favorite spot on this boat. Behind me, you can see the anchor right in front of the boat. And I'm sitting just above the storage area that is below. And I can show you, it's very easy to access, but still very nicely done with the cushions. So it's just a zipper and I can take the cushion off and then that's the anchor st storage below. It's also very easy to lift and huge storage space below. So you can see there's actually a lot of room down here. I can um, crouch easily. So I can even use this as extra storage space for anything that I don't need in my everyday. One thing that I can't stress enough is the immense room that we have to navigate around our boat. So we have a lot of space to go right to the bow, right to the aft. I'm usually somebody who trips a lot, so there are no steps, no lines lying around, so there's no way for me to trip at all. And of course we have the really high railing um, that makes it very safe to navigate around here even when there is a little bit of waves. And you can see that the side of the boat is also rather high, so there's not really a chance for water to come in. If it does, it will just roll off the back of the boat. And now I will show you to the cockpit. I'm sitting at the helmsman position now. I can actually drive the boat all by myself, but as you can see beside me, there's a second helmsman position right there, and it has the exact same navigation panel as I have here. So I've got everything here from my chart plotter to my autopilot, um, everything that I need electronic wise and I have a very easy access to the winch and you see all the sheets are very nicely stored there's nothing lying around where it shouldn't be and in order to keep the cockpit safe and clutter free I can put all the um, sheets here um, just for easy storage so they are out of the way there's of course also an engine the engine controls also right next to me it's down here to my right side so you can see um, the engine control here we can't see the engine now because it's below us um, but it's actually a 57 horsepower engine which um, has an option to even enlarge that so who, uh, for everybody who likes the speed we can have an even bigger engine for up to 80 horsepower so there's a lot of speed going on there uh, the engine is uh, fueled by the fuel tank that's also below us so we can't see it now but we can see the hole here where it's filled there is another one at other places on the boat um, the entire fuel tank is um, 210 liters big so that gives us a maximum range of approximately 270 nautical miles so that's quite something without the sails of course just with the engine power but uh, we can also put in a second tank and that would double the maximum range that we have when I'm sitting here, I have a really nice 360 degree view all around for everything that's of importance. Even when I'm sitting down, I can either look to the side or if it's too windy, I can also see everything that I need to see through the deck saloon, which is um, a lot of glass, but we will come to that in a minute. And of course, uh, because of all the space that I have here, it's very easy as well for me to just stand up and navigate my boat while I'm standing because I have a really nice view all to the front of the boat. Between the two helmsman seats in the back, we have a covered area on the floor here. We can open it very easily and you can see there's a lot of space down there for everything that you need for blue water cruising. So whether it's your fenders, whether it's your dinghy that you put down there, everything can be stored. 
And that's also the area where we can put out the swimming platform and the ladder for that as well. I've opened the locker between the helmsman's seats and will attempt to open the bathing platform. I just release it up here and then you see I'm holding a rope and by releasing the rope, the bathing platform is lowered into the water. So I can do it by myself. And now it's done. This is our bathing platform. You can see we have the leather, the leather stowed here. And I can just extend it out and then put it back into the water. As you can see beside me, there's a big room here. So it's very easy to put the dinghy in or everything that you need for your um, evening activities, for example, all the nice toys that you need in the water can be stowed back here and are easily accessible from the bathing platform. I'm sitting in the cockpit area now. You can see there's a lot of room, so all the family, all my friends could be here as well. And especially in this kind of weather with the sun shining, we have a really nice sunroof right above our heads, so we don't have any danger of burning our heads when we're out at sea. A closer look at the bimini, the sunroof that we can just pull back. I'll do it now. I'm not the strongest of persons and I can just do it one-handed. So it's very easy when the weather permits to just open it or close it back down when the sun is out. I have opened the flap in the cockpit floor and as you can see the entire engine is right below me so it's a very easy access and everything you need to do in um, terms of maintenance work can be done from up here so it's really easy I don't have to crawl around anywhere and even if for example you would have to do bigger maintenance like changing filters um, you could take the entire engine out without even taking it apart. In the middle here um, we have a really nice table which is stored safely away so as long as we don't need it it's not in our way. But when we need it, it's very easy just to lift up and now it's fixed. So I have a really good um, table area on the other side as well. So we can all sit very comfortably here together and have dinner. For returning it back into the safety position, it's very easy as well. I can do it by myself and it will just fold back down and it's gone again. What I'm sitting on is the cockpit locker that's right next here. So we have a really nice area for storage. And when I'm down here, I can also show you our engine area. That's right below here. So it's a very easy access. I can just pull the entire thing up and then I have access to everything that's got to do with the engine. So it's very easily accessible. I don't have to crawl around anywhere. I can just access it, access it from the cockpit. So now to the big lockers. We also have that on both sides, of course. It's easy to lift. And there is a hydraulic mechanism that keeps it up there. So even if there's some waves going on, it will stay here and not fall on our heads. And you can see there's a lot of room there. I expect I could even fit in there easily. So I was right, I can fit easily. I could actually lie down here as well. It's not the most comfortable place, but there's a lot of room to store everything that I don't need lying around on my boat. And it's also very easily accessible from the cockpit area, so I don't have to crawl around anywhere. So before we go inside now, into the interior part of our boat, what I notice are these little uh, lamps right here in our cockpit area. So even though now it's daylight, but um, during the night we will have a really nice mood lighting out here. So we will be really nice and comfortable with a really nice atmosphere out here. It doesn't matter if the roof is up or not, because those are on the side here. So now let's have a look inside our deck saloon that gives this moody DS its name. I'm inside the deck saloon now. The first thing that I notice is that it's very bright. We have a lot of natural light in here, so it doesn't really make a difference if I'm out there in the cockpit or inside here, because there's windows all around. I have 360 degrees visibility. You can see all around there's these really nice glass walls. It's made of safety glass, so that allows um, the temperature inside to stay kind of cool, so it doesn't heat up too quickly in the summer when you're outside on the ocean. So it stays nice and cool back here. And of course, it's also possible if you don't want um, other people to look around, you have the curtains all around, you can close up the entire thing 
um, so they're nice and private in here as well. And as you can see, there's a big table here. There's a lot of room. I imagine five, six people would easily have um, seating space here. And of course, we can put everything outside as well into the cockpit area if the weather is nice enough. So right next to our big, fancy, comfortable sitting area, we have our galley. It's really nice. It actually looks like at home. It has a really nice finishing top. Um, and everything that we need right here. What's really nice is a window here. I told you that's windows all around, but this one is really nice because it opens up to our sitting area in the cockpit area. So if my friends are sitting out there asking for a cocktail, I can just pass it through the window there. So we have the sink underneath here. We have the fridge accessible here. And there's actually a second entrance to the fridge. That's down here next to our feet. It just is the same fridge, but it's easier for organizing everything. Right next door is the oven. And of course, um, the oven top here as well, so it makes easy cooking as well. And back here we have a few cupboards um, and drawers to get everything nice and safely out of order. Uh, out of the way and of course everything is well hidden so even if there's waves heavy seas nothing can fall out from here a very nice thing that i have noticed as well is right below our feet so we have this really nice storage area here it blends perfectly so no steps nothing to trip over and it's very easy to lift as well so i'm not the strongest of persons but for me it's very easy and it will stay up there as well there's actually stairs leading down there so you can imagine how big it is and I can show you that it actually fits a whole person as well. So while I'm on the floor of the galley here, what I've noticed is that I can open the table. When I open it, I see it's got a garbage bin inside, which is really convenient because it's out of the way. We don't have to see it while we are out here enjoying ourselves. And also that's behind me here. We actually have a dishwasher here as well. Really nicely stored and out of the way so we don't have to see it when we don't need it. So I'm sitting now at this really big table. As you can see, there's a lot of room, so a lot of people can easily have space here. What's really nice is that there's a little step here in the table. So when I have my glasses on here, and even if there's high winds, there's a bit of waves, nothing will fall down the table. So that is really convenient. And we also have this handrail on the side here. So wherever we go inside the boat, we always have a place to hold on to if there should be high waves around. What you can see here, it's really nice um, light wood that we have. But if you would consider this boat for yourself, you could individualize every surface on this boat. You can change the color of the furniture, you can change the color of the cushions, you can even change the color of these um, panels on the ceiling where the, the lamps are in. And you can of course change the color or the wood of the floorboards as well. So your boat may look entirely different and it's completely up to you how you would like your boat to look and everything can be put individually so you like it. I'm sitting in the navigation area now inside the deck saloon so I'm very warm and dry and comfortable while I can still see everything because of the really nice windows in front here. So I can also have a look at those sitting in front on the sunbeds of course. I have everything that I need for um, navigating this boat, what I have outside as well. So when we're going with engine power then everything I need is right here as well. So if it's raining, it's really nice and dry in here and I don't have to be outside. What's really nice is that I also have a lot of storage place around my area here. I can open this up to put all my seat charts here. Then I have a little area back here to put whatever I don't need while navigating. And also below my feet, there's another little storage area here. So as you notice, there's a lot of storage space put all over this boat and it actually takes a while to find them all. So it's always a little surprise when you find that you can open a wall or another table and there's always storage space inside. While walking towards our cabins on board, I noticed this really shiny panel here. When I open it, it opens to show the entire control panel that I need. So everything that might be wrong with the boat, it will be 
visible here so I don't have to crawl around in the basement so to say but I can have a look at it right here and of course it's very conveniently stored away so nobody has to see it when we don't need it. In the downstairs area I have found the guest cabins. There are two single beds in here and what I notice is that it's very light. There's a lot of natural light coming in through the really big windows here. So that's something really special that we have natural light even in the guest cabins. And we can actually decide which way we want to lie because we have lamps at the foot side and also at the head side of the beds. And as usual on this boat we have a lot of storage space. So there's a little drawer down here and all around the walls here we have those little storage spaces here as well. So it's really nice and um, our guests can also put all their stuff in here. And the most important thing is a really really big storage cupboard that we have. So we have this really big storage cupboard here. It's huge. It would fit almost my entire wardrobe as well. So we have those four compartments on the left side and even um, a pole here to hang suits or dresses that we have. So even if we're on a kind of fancy cruise, we have all the room that we need to put all our wardrobe in. Just across the hall from our guest cabin, we have the guest bathroom. It's really nice. We have a shower where I can actually stand in, I guess, two meter person could also stand in here so it's really comfortable there's actually a really nice shower I'll take it out to show you it's a real shower um, like the one at home so we don't have to uh, feel out of place and we have the toilet back here there is um, also a wall here that we can open that will close the shower off so we don't have water everywhere but just in the shower area of course we have the sink as well and as you can imagine another ton of storage space down here back there up here we also have a little cupboard so this boat seems to be made of nothing but storage space i'm in the master cabin now and even though we're in the lowest part of the boat we're furthest from the front door um, it's very light in here so we get a lot of natural light we have again windows all over the place all around and we can actually open a lot of those windows too. So we can create a really nice cross breeze so that the entire boat is filled with natural light, with natural air. But we also have an air conditioning system back here as well. We can't see it, but um, it's really nice and cool out here. So today it's very sunny outside. I'm almost sweating. And when I'm down here, it's really nice and cool. So it's obviously working well, but I still can't see it. So there's no... Um, nasty attachments anywhere that I need to see. As you can see, the main part of the master cabin is the enormous bed. It's um, almost two meters long, so even really tall people can um, sleep in here very nicely. And it's also very wide, so I can actually lie across it as well if I wish to. And um, as well as in the rest of the boat, we have a lot of storage space. Again, I will just show you a few. So just next to the bed, we have those little areas here we can put everything away that we have and as well a lot of um, nice cupboard areas as well. What's also really nice, I'll have to turn around for that, um, back there we have a really nice wall design. It doesn't really look like we're on a boat anymore, it looks more like in a hotel room. So it's really nicely done and um, a very nice atmosphere back here as well. Also I have a lot of room to the windows or to the ceiling. The windows are open now, but I can also close them, of course, during the night, so there's no light coming in then. But it's really high up, so even here, as everywhere in the ship, we can um, stand with two meters height. Leaving the owner's cabin, what I noticed first is a really big additional storage space below the bed. That's huge. You can put um, your spare pillows or whatever you need back down here that's really convenient as well and also we have a really nice uh, lighting atmosphere here we have the normal spots and we also have the little reading lamps at the headboard but what's really nice what i really like is this additional lighting under the ceiling so it's very low key it's very atmospheric so we have a lot of mood lighting here as well and now i'll take you to the bathroom of the owner's cabin so I'm in the owner's bathroom now. You could say it's the first bathroom because it's ensuite. It's directly accessible from the owner's cabin. It's even bigger than the guest bathroom. It still has the nice height. So however tall you are, you can easily fit. And even in the shower, there's enough headroom. We also have a nice shower. We also have 
the glass wall that we can put here so we don't put everything underwater. And what's really nice as well is the wooden flooring that we have in the shower as well. So it all feels a bit more natural, not so much as a boat bathroom. And of course toilet, sink and you know it already, the really um, big storage space that we have everywhere. And um, yeah, you can see it's everywhere. There's even lighting inside the little cabinets here. And we also have the natural lights here. We have a window up there and one here that we can both open and also um, close with the blinds if we want to have our privacy. I'm back in the bow of our Moody DS41. I hope you had fun joining me here today to have a look around. I'm a really big fan of the Moody, especially because of all the natural light that's coming in because of all the windows that we can open and have a look around. Um, I would recommend you to have a look around it yourself if you can and see if you can spot all the nice storage areas that are hidden everywhere.